Dartmouth, and my college, my high school counselor said, you know, it was a very conservative, very like masculine, very Caucasian school when I went there, and um, and he was like, don't go there because you're going to martyr your career, and I, I literally went home and enrolled like that day. I was like, don't you tell me what I can't do, you know? And I wanted to go a place that was alien and different. I wanted to have an experience that was maybe even a little frightening, and I really do pursue those things. I feel like it's important in your life to be terrified. I think that's when you um, you tend to uh, find out who you are. So I've always pursued things that were challenging just for my, on my own agenda to try to be a better, more interesting, more complex person. Um, so anything I thought I was interested in doing, I've just done it. I've just always tried it. When it, what the worst thing happens, it doesn't go your way, but you tried it, you know. Separately, the entertainment business, again, tries to limit you externally constantly to tell you you're a dramatic actress, or you're a comedic actress, or you're just a TV actress, or you're just a film actress, or you know, uh, stay in your lane, black comedians only do this kind of stuff, they can't do this kind of stuff, and early on in my career, you know, this is not an act, this is just who I am. And I, and I, I, I realized very early on I was not gonna be able to be anything different than this, but when I was a young comic, people were like, you need to be more like, you know, uh, Monique, or more like some more, you need to do deaf comedy, jam, stamp, you know, deaf comedy jam style comedy, and I was like, I just can't do it, it's just not who I am. And I would be lying, and the audience would know I was lying, and I've just gotta wait until my audience finds me. I've just gotta wait until the people out there that are like me, my tribe, discovers me. And I just stuck to my guns, because I had no other choice. Um, but in the entertainment business, you know, if you get stuck in a lane, things can diminish for you very quickly. So early on, separate from wanting to challenge myself, I wanted to create a career that was so multifaceted that no one else could shut it down. So, you know, I, I wanted to build a school with so many legs that if I lost five legs, I still had six to stand on. Because what happens for a lot of actors is you have one gig and when that gig goes away, you founder. And 